Specific heat capacity is defined as the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. So we have our formulae, small c is equal to delta E, the change in energy, divided by M times delta theta, the change in temperature. Or rearranged, the change in energy is equal to the mass times the specific heat capacity multiplied by the change in temperature. So the M mass is measured in kilograms. The small c, specific heat capacity, is measured in joules per kilogram degree Celsius. The change in energy E is measured in joules. And the change in temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. A few specific capacities that you should know about but are not required to memorize are in this table. One of the most commonly, one, commonly used ones that we'll be looking at is the specific capacity of water which is 4200 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. Alcohol has about 2400. Ice about 2100. Sand and granite around 840 and 800 each. Glass 670, copper 390 and iron 460. If you look at this table and look at similarities, you notice that water and alcohol, which are liquids, have some of the highest heat capacities and metals like copper and iron have the smallest heat capacities. That explains why when you touch something like a metal, it feels cool to the touch because when you touch it, it doesn't take a lot of heat energy to heat it up. So the heat energy from your hand quickly transfers to that metal and it cools off your hand. So it tricks your mind into thinking that it is cooler than it is because it conducts and draws away heat from your hand faster than something with a higher heat capacity such as wood. Let's look at an example. A pot of negligible mass contains 500 grams of water at 30 degrees Celsius. How much thermal energy is required to bring the pot of water to its boiling point? Assume that the water is pure and is at sea level. So how do we work out a problem like this? One, the mass is 500 grams, which we have to convert to kilograms. Dividing by 1000, you get 0 0.5 kilograms. The specific capacity of water is 4200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. The change in temperature, since the change in temperature is from 30 up to 100, then that will be 70 degrees Celsius. Why does it go up to 100? Well, as you should remember, the boiling point of pure water at sea level is 100 degrees Celsius. So our formula EH is equal to MC delta theta. Multiplying 0 0.5 kilograms times 4,200 joules per kilogram Kelvin times 70 degrees Celsius, we get 147,000 joules. So here's our practice problem for you. 25.0 grams of copper was heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. How much heat energy was used to warm up that copper? Used the specific capacity of copper to be 390 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. And pause the video at this point when you have finished working, working it out, then you proceed to unpause it. In three, two, one. Did you get it correct? If you did, good for you. If not, I hope you can spot your mistake and make the correction. So first, let's begin by looking at some common electrical power ratings. These can be found usually on a sticker on the device. A lamp may have a sticker with a power rating of 60 double on it, which means that it is of a power rating of 60 watts. An iron might be of 1000 watts or one kilowatts. It all depends. You will see it on your electrical appliance. So our first example, Suppose your microwave is rated at 1.25 kilowatts and is used continuously for 5 minutes. How much electrical energy does it use in this time? So we know the power is 1.25 kilowatts which must be converted to watts. That would be 1250 watts. And the time is 5 minutes which we must convert to seconds by multiplying by 60. So 5 times 60 gives us 300 seconds. Remember that power is equal to energy divided by time, which rearranged would be energy is equal to power multiplied by time. 
So the energy will be 1250 watts multiplied by 300 seconds, which would give you 375,000 joules. Our second example. An electric heater of power rating 0.5 kilowatts is used to warm a mass of 2.0 kilograms of liquid from 25 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius in a time of 4 minutes. Using this data, calculate the specific heat capacity of the liquid. So the power is 0.5 kilowatts, which when converted to watts would be 500 watts. The time is 4 minutes, which when converted to seconds would be 240 seconds. The mass is 2 kilograms, and the change in temperature is 45 minus 25, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So our formula is the heat energy is equal to mass times specific capacity times change in temperature. When we rearrange that to make the specific heat capacity the subject of the formula, we have C is equal to heat energy divided by mass times change in temperature. The heat energy used here is the same as the electrical energy used by the appliance because of the principle of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is only transformed from one form to another. Here, this transformation is from electrical energy to heat energy. So 500 watts multiplied by 240 seconds divided by 2.09 kilograms times 20 degrees Celsius. So that would be 120,000 joules divided by 40 kilogram degrees Celsius. And that will give us that the specific heat capacity of the liquid is 3,000 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So this is a practice problem for you to work on. So pause the video here and solve it. And then when you're ready to continue, you move on and see the solution as follows in three, two, one. I hope you got it correct. Goodbye and have a good day.